Hey Libra, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your Valentine's Day special edition for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be a Libra yourself. It's an energy update and it's for, again, Valentine's Day, February 14, 2023, plus or minus three days. Take it how it resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, you know where to find me. You can go to my Etsy shop. You can go to my website. All the information is in the description box below. Let's see. Um, I'm going to start off with some Oracle cards and get some messages. And I'm also going to jump into the tarot. And so, yeah, let's jump right in. Messages for my Libras for Valentine's Day. I'm going to start off with the cartoon tarot. What is the biggest challenge for my Libras out there? What is the biggest challenge pertaining to love, romance for Valentine's Day 2023? Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This could also be someone who sees you in a Queen of Pentacles, but maybe they're not showing it because there's a challenge in getting to that Queen of Pentacles energy. She represents stability. She represents family, home, values, strong values, and tradition, right? So it does feel like, you know, maybe Libra, there's someone that maybe wasn't able to give you what you needed regarding those things. Maybe you were working toward that and you haven't gotten to it. There's some kind of challenge with regard to that. Another card that flipped over is the Hierophant. So yeah, same energy. It does feel like maybe there are some commitment issues Maybe someone wasn't ready to go all in. Maybe they weren't ready to commit. You and your person, again, it could be an earth sign or a Taurus. Someone isn't, isn't on the same page with regard to commitment. Maybe they view partnerships and relationships differently. Maybe you're wanting them to commit and they haven't been able to make that commitment, take that vow. Um, there's something here regarding commitment, marriage, home, family, okay? All right, we're going to get into the divine goddess oracle zek and get some messages here libra libra sun and rising venus please success it's your time to shine success from what you pour your heart into so i feel like someone is recognizing that Something here could be successful, right? You can have a successful outcome here with regard to a goal that you both want, but you're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to pour into it. You're going to have to put in the effort, open up your heart, and that is the only way you're going to have some kind of successful outcome. So there is an opportunity for success, but you're going to work at it. Obsession. All right, you guys. So around Valentine's Day, there is someone that could be obsessively thinking about you. I'm getting to the point where it's a... It, it's creating some kind of um, disruption in our everyday life. It's just focusing too much on one situation, the need to take a step back. So for some of you, your person has taken a step back, right? They're not reaching out. They're not being as communicative. They're not sending you that good morning text. But rest assured, they're still obsessively thinking about what things were, how things were, you, an event. Maybe there's been an incident that happened and they can't get their mind off of it obsessively thinking about it, it feels like it could be definitely a distraction or causing some kind of paranoia within them let's find out some more pay attention look out for signs from the divine so there could be some divine messages it could be you know your intuition very strong or strengthened during this time Libra. you could be getting some messages from the divine it says also acknowledge the red flag so you know for some of you guys this is your person maybe there's something here where they're, they haven't been seeing the red flags or maybe they have been not seeing the red flags that they've been putting up in the connection. Um, let's see where things are, okay? Pay attention. It makes you feel like you guys are just having to keep your eyes and ears peeled for something. Maybe obsessiveness isn't really all that great, right? Let's be honest. It could be a little... A little too much. All right, in a recent past, Libra, King of Wands. Um, you know, for some of you guys, you've been connecting with someone that the passion, the excitement, the drive to have you to be with you is just intense. And maybe it's too much, and that could be that obsessive energy. I think the King of Wands in the past, maybe someone wanted you, but maybe you felt like it was for the wrong reasons. Let's be honest. King of Wands is like a very sexual energy. It feels like, you know, this is someone that wants, very lusty, okay? But it's not really committal. Let's be honest. They come in, they're passionate, they want you, you look good, and they go for it. But is it really leading to that commitment that you want, the marriage that you want? And maybe that was the issue. 
The current energy is a temperance. Take your time. It feels like maybe you're dealing with someone, Libra, where it's like, if you want something long-term secure, if you want a long-standing opportunity, then you know that something takes time. Connections evolve over a period of time. You're having to be patient. You're having to put in the work. You're having to take time to get to know someone. Crack them open. Spend a lot of time in quality conversation. And maybe that was something that was missing. Maybe that's why something didn't work out or was successful in the end. And maybe you're having Libra to now pay attention to those signs. Is someone willing to put in the work? Is someone really ready for the long-term opportunity or responsibility that comes with commitment? Or they're just here to have fun with the King of Wands energy, right? So this could be a Sagittarius for sure. Now on their mind is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone has definitely pulled back because they're recognizing that you're not as loving and emotionally open as you were in the past. Maybe you're not as friendly. They may feel like energetically you've cut, you know, you've cut back. Um, I think this is a, a protection, right? This is this is to protect yourself. And Libra, it's not a bad thing. Some of you guys, you are the divine feminine and the Queen of Cups is you. And if that's the case, some of you guys, you've taken your emotions off the table because you're recognizing someone doesn't appreciate that. Someone isn't coming to you with their emotions. So why did you come and meet them with your emotions? So there is an energy of protecting yourself and allowing something to play out the way it should, being patient, temperance. But they feel that energetically, that some of you guys, you cut them out or emotionally you're just closed off now. Yeah, they see you as moving on, Libra. Three of Wands is telling me that they're waiting for their ships to come in now with you. They may feel like you are now looking at something else. You're looking at other opportunities, other fish in the sea. They feel like you are on to the next one. And, you know, I definitely feel like there's an the energy of, like, someone now obsessively thinking about you because they now see that you're you're taking off, you're moving on. You're not really fixated and focused on them anymore. Their emotions and feelings are beating themselves up. Five of Wands is conflict. It's strife. It's inner conflict, for sure. Challenges. And someone is trying to resolve this. Someone is trying to work through these feelings they're having and they're beating themselves up. And it feels like they're beating themselves up because of something here where they let you get away. They let their Queen of Cups get away. Someone that was loving and soulful and sweet and patient, understanding and kind. And it's almost like, what was I thinking? And so someone is recognizing that they are definitely the reason why something didn't work. How they see moving forward is the hangman. So someone is definitely seeing a situation from a different pair of lens, different perspective. And we have the hangman, Piscean energy. They're now seeing it and it feels like they're now coming to some kind of awareness or understanding. I think this hangman is definitely telling you, yeah, this could be some stagnancy right now in a connection. Maybe you're thinking, they're thinking your guys are on your own right now. And that could be the energy of taking a step back. But the truth is, it's not a bad thing. This step back is allowing you both to come to terms with what this is and what you're looking for and how to proceed in this connection. And so there's something about coming into awareness and maybe even getting signs from the divine, right? Now, behind the scenes, we have the Page of Pentacles. Someone is really dying to reach out. I feel like this is someone that wants a successful outcome with you. They know they have to offer stability. And here it is, Page of Pentacles. But it almost makes me feel like they're holding back. And the Page of Pentacles in verse could be the energy of holding back out of fear, holding back because of insecurities, holding back because it's not good enough, it's too small. Um, if you are in the Queen of Pentacles energy, Libra, if they see you in the Queen of Pentacles energy, you're stable, you're secure, you're independent, you've got... You got it going on, right? They may feel like they don't have much to offer. And so there could be something about, you know, my little offer is too small. Maybe it's not good enough for the Queen of Pentacles. The advice for you guys is to not push them away necessarily. Four of Cups give you the energy of pushing away. I'm not interested. I'm, you're not good enough. Give this person a chance. You know, the Four of Cups in a verse could be that maybe your person doesn't want to miss out on this opportunity and they're now wanting a do-over. Now they're wanting to have a new opportunity with you. So be open to that. Maybe you're having to see a situation from a different pair of lens or perspective as well. The outcome is a Five of Pentacles in a verse. There's someone, Libra, that has been feeling left out in the cold and they're wanting to come back in your life. They're wanting to be in your presence. They miss your, your attention. They miss the, the energy between you guys. And there's someone that may feel in this place of lack. They may feel abandoned by you. They may feel neglected. And there's the energy of them coming back in your life. So that is something I'm seeing. There could be a successful opportunity where you guys are 
going to be reacquainted. You're going to be reconnected. You're going to reconcile. And that could be the energy as well with the five of pentacles in the verse. If you guys have been separated or distant for some time, yeah, it's very possible that they can make their way back in. They may feel that with no real um, commitment or partnership, right, which could be indicating of the Queen of Pentacles energy, you in their life, it does feel like they're at a complete loss. Nothing means anything to them anymore. So let's jump right in. Secret love messages from your person. What are some things that, you know, they're thinking about, they want to tell you, but they can't. I tried so hard to ignore you. So this is someone that has been ignoring you, not talking or speaking, reaching out. But it's challenging the hell out of them, right? Five of Wands. It's, it's, I'm beating myself up every day. I can't stand it. I, I'm just, I'm so um, frustrated by all this. And it feels like this is someone that really, you know, they can't ignore you. It's not that easy for them, even though they're trying their hardest to do so. Another card we have is... I want to feel your touch. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Five of Pentacles in verse. I miss your touch. I miss your presence. I miss your energy. I miss the smell of you. Right? This is someone that wants you in their life in some way or form. And one more message. It was my fault. I am to blame. So this is someone that is feeling like I'm guilty. I was wrong. I disappointed myself. I disappointed you. I am to blame. I take full fault for this. So this is the energy of your person. I'm the reason all this has happened. And so now there's the energy of like, you know, I need to do better. Now seeing a situation differently. Now I see I'm the problem. So Libra, that is the energy. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you want a personal reading, all the details are in the description box. Have a great week ahead, you guys. Take care. Bye.